laser cutter is a computer-controlled machine used to automatically etch or cut materials. Laser cutters don't lose a lot of material to the cut and are extremely precise. The minimum size of a cutting slit is 0.006 inches. This makes them a good machine for making high precision cuts quickly and engraving complicated images. Laser cutters are controlled by printer drivers, which means that cutting apart or rastering an image on a laser cutter is as simple as printing a document. Maker Lodge has two 60 watt lasers, an Epilogue Zing and a Universal VLS 3.5. Each laser cutter has a 12 by 24 inch cutting bed. The two machines are functionally similar, though there are differences in software. This video will take you through the steps of running a job on the epilogue. Start with an image to print. Make sure the file is in a format that's readable to the laser cutter. Laser cutting requires a vector image, which is an image made from vectors instead of pixels, and therefore has the ability to, to scale easily. Check that the output paper size matches the size of the bed. In Maker Lodge, the size should be 24 inches wide by 12 inches tall. Put on safety glasses before starting operation of the laser cutter. Ensure that your material is appropriate to cut and engrave. Some materials give off toxic or explosive fumes when vaporized by the laser, and thus should not be cut. Place your stock piece in the laser cutter. We recommend that you always slide one edge of the stock up to one edge of the laser cutter first, then slide the stock to another edge until you arrive at a corner. This provides a repeatable way of placing the stock in case the laser cutter doesn't cut all the way through the part and you have to redo the job. Make sure that the laser will cut in the proper position on the stock. Line up your job in your vector graphics program before pressing print. Once you've pressed the print button, you can't go back to change the location. Try to line up your parts so that you waste as little stock as possible. Next, you'll want to make sure that the laser is appropriately focused for your job. Put the focusing tool on the laser and raise the bed until it touches the bottom of the focusing tool. You might want to do a test run of your job to make sure that you've lined up the part correctly. The laser won't turn on when the lid is open, so open the lid, turn on the laser pointer, and push the go button on the machine. Make sure the laser is pointing where you want it to be cutting. If not, go back to your vector graphics program and adjust the position. Once you're sure the job is positioned correctly, you need to choose appropriate speed and power settings for the material and thickness. Go to File, Print, Preferences. Choose the speed and power of the laser. Speeds and powers for common materials should be listed next to the laser, or you can load the settings for your material from the advanced menu. If you don't see your material listed in either the manual or in the advanced menu, check with a mentor that it's safe to laser cut, if so, the mentor will help you develop and save appropriate settings. Turn on the compressed air and ventilation before you start your print. This can help prevent fires and will help keep the lens clean. In Maker Lodge, both of our lasers are hooked up to the same ventilation. This means that you must open and close the appropriate blast gates before you run your job. And that's it, you're now ready to print. Close the lid, press print, and then press the start job button on the laser. Watch your part continuously as it is cut and rastered. There's a very real possibility that your stock will catch fire and quickly turn into a large fire if you're not there to react to it. Be sure to clean off the machine for the next user. Clean off any bits of material left on the bed and close the laser lid. The main hazard with laser cutters is the possibility of a piece catching fire as you're operating the machine. You should not attempt to fight the fire. Instead, simply turn off the laser cutter and turn off the compressed air. Most importantly, notify any mentors in the shop. You should not be cutting any materials that we have prohibited earlier in this video. Toxic fumes generated from cutting and engraving is a very serious hazard. 
Take care in handling your piece after cutting, as laser cutter parts tend to have sharp edges. Be sure to use a deburring tool to file down any sharp edges you find on your piece.